um, after getting a couple games with film and getting to go through it out with the players, just what were kind of your biggest takeaways from the first week of the season? We have a long way to go. Um, have to fix our half court defense so that needs to be fixed this week or it won't be a pretty week. We have to do a, just a better job of learning how to play with each other. Um, and that, again, takes time, especially when you're playing so many players. But we should be able to speed that process up a little bit, have more of a sense of urgency in practice, talk more, all of those things that need to come on rather quickly. Preparing for MTSU, how much are you looking at that game from last year that Tennessee played compared to just, I guess, the full body of work or games they played this year? Yeah, we're more so looking at some of their later games. I've watched a little bit of their game last year, um, but it was so early that watching their games this year as well. Um, MTSU has a 6 7 center who's pretty mobile and can shoot. Just what kind of challenge does that present to your kind of defense with a, a player who is so so tall and so mobile? Yeah, I think she's an incredible player, and so she's going to be a tough matchup for us on both ends of the floor. And so we're really going to have to be physical, we're going to have to be strong. We've played smaller teams, and so this will be our first time playing against a team that we may just have to shoot more threes and kick it back out a little bit quicker on offensive rebounds and make some adjustments there. questions for coach Caleb you mentioned working on the half court defense what does that look like in practice whenever you're working on that oh it looks good for a while and then it looks <laughs> like it did in the game um, so just more breakdown work talking about closeouts talking about being in health no gaps no middle drives stuff like that and you know I just think we got a little bit lazy in the last two games and gave up some buckets we've watched a lot of film we're pretty hard on them in film too so hopefully they know if they do it again they're gonna get it again in film Looking at just obviously it's only two games, but your top two minutes leaders are Jewel and Sarah returners. And you know, did you see that from the beginning that they were pretty just gonna go for it? They were gonna, you know, sit back and say, oh, well, they might bring in other players to fit the system better. And just really went to work to earn their minutes as returners. Absolutely. And they're in the gym probably more so than anyone. They're leaders. I trust to have them on the floor. And they also don't foul as much as everyone else. So that helps them get a couple more minutes. The challenge with NTSU being another like it's heavy or minded type of team, what's the challenge for your team when you want that same effort? Um, both yeah, I think they are very, very good defensively, and so our offense hasn't been great either, and just working on getting to our spots and playing offense like we want to play, a little more team as opposed to one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, we've been talking about that, we've showed that on film, we've been working on that, and so that'll be big because they are very aggressive on the defensive end, and we will struggle, especially early, if we don't run some offense. Kind of going back to NTSU's 6-7 player, I know last week in the first game, rebounding kind of was a struggle for you guys. How much of an emphasis have you made that in practice this week, especially going up against her? Yeah, I mean, we've emphasized it in film. We continue to emphasize it and got to box her out. She's going to go get every rebound. She's going to go get all of her own rebounds. Um, and, and we will be at a, a slight disadvantage there because of her size. And she's athletic. Um, on offense, obviously, you talked a lot about having patience, but how much is maybe just yeah, I think those for us those things go hand in hand of pass the ball a little bit more and then attack as opposed to attack immediately. Uh, wait a little bit for somebody to cut and then attack. And so the patience definitely comes into play, swinging the ball around. And I think all of that just goes back to, hey, you guys have to figure out how to play with each other. And you're going to play with a lot of different people and you're just going to have to figure it out. Caleb. How has the team's approach to those fouls in practice changed after you have those two games? They still don't think they foul. Um, so we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> um, at the girls' night camp yesterday, Nikki said that um, when she was watching the team together there and officiating and coaching the scrimmage, that they reminded her a lot of her teams, which had Candace Parker and Alexis Marbuckle, you know, won two titles. Um, just the chemistry they have and the way they, you know, picked at each other, the competitiveness, just what's kind of your reaction to hearing something like that from someone who played on title teams here? Yeah, I think it's awesome. I, I think uh, we just got to get together to play like them on the floor, right? So off the floor is great, but you you got to be able to find that chemistry on the floor. But that was a that was very nice of her to say that. She messaged me as well after. Paige. Building off that same note, how have you seen this team off the court for talent closer and more connected you know, since your time here since April and then how the trend? Yeah, they've been, I don't know how it's translating on the court. That's kind of baffling me a little bit, but they've been close since they got here. I mean, there was not a whole lot of 
time for them to be close and to be joking and to be laughing. And that is one thing I'll say over and over, that this team is fun to be around. Camille. She had mentioned earlier that you have a hate me now, love me later philosophy mentality. Where does that come from and how do the girls um, kind of take that in every day? Uh, they seem to take it really well. I mean, I'll be on them in practice, tell them how bad they are, and then as soon as we're off the floor, we're joking and laughing again. So they handle it like adults. They handle it very well, and I think they understand it. And I think that's just what you have to do as a coach is you have to try to get the most out of them every single day, and that's not comfortable. That's not fun. That's not pleasant. Um, but that's my job, and when you care about people and you want them to get better, then you have to treat them that way. Cora? Um, after kind of getting to look at film with um, Z from last game, didn't get a ton of field goals, um, going up against a center who's got size on her, just what adjustments are you looking for her to make tomorrow? Yeah, we have talked a lot about the easy buckets she can get, kind of like based off Ruby's game last game, go get offensive rebound putbacks, aren't a little bit more in transition, um, watch your space on the floor, and all of those should open up more shots for her. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.